Oil meters are an essential part of a lubrication facility, installed to allow the ability to accurately measure your dispenses, reducing waste. Today, we will walk you through the register module calibration process for your Alamite digital oil meter. Setup process begins with selecting the correct displayed unit of measure for your application. Prior to leaving the factory, unit of measure is preset based on the model number to one of our four totalizer set options available. To enter the selection screen, press and hold both the reset and calibration button until unit appears on the screen. Use the reset button to cycle through the different options to change dispense volume along with the totalizer volume. Once the unit of measure for your application is selected, press and hold the calibration button until the screen flashes and resets. The new unit of measure will now display on the right side of the screen. The next adjustment is the calibration factor. Normally, these meters are calibrated to dispense a 10W motor oil prior to leaving the facility. Since each dispensing system is configured differently, we always recommend testing the meters in the system they will be hooked into prior to placing into service. Enter the calibration screens by pressing and holding the calibrate button until the calibration factor screen appears. If the meter has never been calibrated, the setting defaults to the factory settings. If the factor has been adjusted before, this screen will read user at the bottom. Next, hold the reset button until field appears in the lower left of the screen. This is the first method of calibration. Dispense fluid into a graduated measuring container following the markings on the container. Complete the dispense and compare the amount dispensed into the container to the meter's reading. If the readings match, no adjustments are needed. You can allow the meter to time out and return to the main display. If they do not match, press and hold the reset button until the up arrow appears. Use the calibration button to cycle up to the dispense amount. For meter dispense value showing more than the dispensed volume, press the reset button one more time to select the down arrow, then cycle down to the required value. With the corrected dispense value entered, press and hold the reset button until the end screen appears and allow the unit to cycle back to the main screen. The second method is the direct method, which starts by clearing the main screen and dispensing into a graduated measuring container. Compare the volume dispensed to the volume displayed on the meter. For units with non-matching dispense values, calculate the new factor number by taking the volume dispensed divided by the volume displayed on the meter multiplied by the current calibration factor. Enter the calibration screen and using the reset button, cycle through the screens until reaching the screen labeled direct. An up arrow will appear as well, allowing for the calibration button to be used to cycle to the correct value. If the needed value is lower than the current value, press the reset button again to display the down arrow and cycle to the required factor. With the new calibration factor selected, press and hold the reset button until the end screen appears and returns to the main screen. With either method, the calibration factor is now configured to the user calibration setting, and this can be verified by pressing and holding the calibration button. The first screen will show the current calibration factor used. If this is correct, Allow the screen to time out and return to the main measurement screen. Run a final dispense to verify the calibration is accurate to the fluid you are dispensing. That is everything you need to set up your meter. Any questions, feel free to contact our technical support staff or local Alamite representative. If there is a process or product demonstration you'd like to see from us, leave a note in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.